This is a Baby Jogger City Mini, and today we're going to show you how to remove the textiles in case you want to wash them or you need to repair the textiles, sew them in some place or so on. Now you're going to want to start by removing all of the excess bits on your stroller, cup holder, and if you have the uh, bumper bar or the food tray as is here installed, remove that. And then we'll start with the canopy. You just want to push in the buttons, pull it up, push some Velcro, and there are buttons at the top. This process is more or less the same with uh, the City Elite and really several of their three wheel strollers as well as the Versa. Okay, you're going to set the stroller aside for a moment and look at the canopy. In order to remove the textiles from the canopy, you're going to need to unscrew these screws here, and you only have to do one side of the canopy. So it's just a small Phillips uh, screw, Phillips screwdriver head to remove it. Screws are like this, and one on the back side. a little bit fiddly. Sometimes you need to unscrew and push from the opposite side at the same time with something small. There we go. Now you can remove the adapter from one side and then you can just slide the textiles off. There we go. Now it's ready to put in the wash. Okay, we're going to move back to the chassis now. The majority of the seat is attached with buttons. I'm just going to pull them off of the bars on the chassis. Working your way downwards. When you get to this point, you have straps that have Velcro underneath. It's a little hard to show, but there it is when you pull it out. You need to work your way. There's a second strap at the very front. And then two buttons directly underneath the front end. Okay, the last step in uh, detaching the seat has to do with the easy fold mechanism. So you have the strap that runs through the seat and you need to pull that strap out. In order to do that, oh, this one's already been unscrewed, but you would naturally have to unscrew this, this part of the catch, and then pull the uh, little metal triangle through the hole on the inside of the easy fold mechanism on the chassis. Go, and then you just want to thread it up through the seat. And through the other side. You can of course completely remove the strap if you need to wash that as well. Sometimes that gets affected by mildew. Um, so if that's the reason why you are washing your seat, you might want to wash that as well to be thorough. Okay, there's the seat. The last thing you need to do in order to prepare for washing is to remove the seat back. And you do that by opening this Velcro on the back side of the seat. And there are two elements to this. There is this metal frame and there is the seat back itself, uh, which we will have to remove the, um, the uh, seat belts from. So there are these uh, different positions for the seat belts, whatever position it's in. You just take the back end of the seat belt and you turn sideways and push it through the hole. some of those other models that I mentioned, uh, there will be less in this back pocket to deal with. I believe the City Elite only has the metal frame in most cases. There you go. Now you can pull it out. 
and on the seat bottom of this model, there is also a board. There. Now the seat is prepared for wash. The last element is, of course, the shopping basket underneath, and that is just a matter of Velcro and buttons. So Velcro at the front, and buttons at the back. This one was not connected. So once you've removed this, you can wash your, your textiles or repair them as you like. And uh, we hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.